Hey guys, this is Landon Day with Graphic Authority and Daydream Photography and I wanted to show you one more video using these new airplane backgrounds uh, that Graphic Authority is releasing. Last time we showed you a senior boy and we dropped a new background behind him that had that cool metal texture and the word fuse in the background and it took just that plain uh, gray background which nothing was wrong with but made it a little bit more uh, unique and a little more artsy, a little more edgy if you will. And today what I want to do is I want to show you a way to take these same uh, airplane images and use them as backgrounds in an album spread. What we're going to do is I don't know the albums that you guys are printing but most of the ones we do are 10 by 20 spreads, 10 by 10 pages. So what we're going to do first is we're going to crop this image down to uh, 10 by 20. So I don't really care for this area up here for the image that we're going to be working on but I'm just going to change this down towards 10 by 20 and we're going to get rid of some of that stuff on the top. I want to crop it right below these dots there. Leave those. So now we have a 10 by 20 image to use as our background spread. I know that you would probably make it a quarter inch guide all the way around depending on your lab but just for our purposes today we're just going to do a generic 10 by 20. So what I'm going to do is from my ruler I'm going to drag a guide so we can mark out where the middle is. Uh, when you're doing layouts you don't really want especially a, a face or anything important to be going over this middle line here. And we're going to do a couple different things real quick. We're going to use three different images on this spread. And I'm going to be dragging them from a second monitor over on the side. But I'm going to drag them directly onto the image itself. And doing that is going to open them up as a smart object already done in that size. So I'm going to drag this all the way over here to the side and click enter. Now that's obviously not what we want to do but uh, we've shown you in the last several videos we've made uh, how to use these blending modes so what I want to do is come down again and use a blending mode and uh, like I say normally we're going to go overlay soft light hard light um, because I've already tested this once and we've got a lot to do on this video I'm just going to show you that I want it to be on hard light which is going to blend that image really nicely into the background I'm going to slide it over to the right just a little bit more and what we don't want going on is this hard edge right here uh, on the background itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a layer mask. Again, that's this box with a circle in it. But we're going to do this one a little bit differently in that we're going to drag it with a gradient tool. If I hold shift and drag from the side, it draws this line out. And that line is going to show me how far it blends over. So if I drag a couple different distances, we're going to get one that we really like and can get rid of that line to where it looks like it just blends into uh, into the background itself. So now we've got this image on the right side of the dancer named Lauren and we're going to draw two more images over here on the left side. But We're going to do them just a little bit differently. So we're going to use these two edges from the library set. We're going to put them over here on the left spread of this image. The first one looks like this and we're just going to undock it and using my arrow tool we're just going to drag over here from the layers and drag and drop it over here. I don't need to hold shift or anything because I don't really know where I want it necessarily yet. But we know we're going to want it somewhere in this region. And the other edge is going to look similar but just different enough to where it still gives us a unique edge. And drag and drop that one over here as well. Command T is just what I'm doing to resize these. Hold option and shift and pulls down from all the sides. So a couple things we can do here is we can have them about the same size side by side or we might could put this back one just a little bit bigger and overlap them just a little bit which could be cool as well. In fact I think that's what we're going to try to do. So we're going to blink off this one so we're only working at, on this one at a time and we can see kind of what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and click on my background layer and drag from my top ruler and have a guide marking top and bottom as well so we can have everything as centered and looks like it's on as purpose as it can be somewhere right there is where it's locking into so what we're going to do is we're going to drag over two more images the first one right now is going to go in this box so click and drag another image of Lauren over here hit enter to place it and we're just going to drag it over here on top of that box somewhere if I come over here to my layers now and I hold option and click between them that's going to make it into a clipping mask. Resize it down a little bit more to where it fits a little bit better. And 
and there's image number one. I'm going to turn on this other one that we already had going on. We're going to drag it over to the right just a little bit more because we don't want it to be on the edge of her foot there. But I do like how they're overlapping. And we're going to drag over our last image in this set. Resize it down close to the size that we're going to want it to be. Hit enter. Be sure that we're above the right layer, which we are. And if I hold option and click, there it goes into that clipping mask again. So we want to be sure that we fill up the block on the top part, something like that. So let's get rid of these guides so we can see what we're doing. With a couple of clicks, using the edges from the library and the background from the new library uh, set or from the new airplane set, we created a album spread that took me not very long at all. That's got some really unique features, and we blended a layer or blended an image into the background and put these two edges over here on the left. So instead of just having plain boxes, we have a little bit of texture and a little bit more depth than we may have created otherwise. Uh, other things that you might could do is uh, go and add a drop shadow onto the images on the left, um, but I think that they're pretty good right now. There's enough separation between them without adding any more of the uh, layer styles. Um, so I hope that you learned something from this quick tutorial, um, but as always, my name is Landon, and you can email me at Landon, L-A-N-D-O-N, at daydreamphotography.net with any of your questions. Have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye.